New vaccine kills cancer in mice. Stanford University researchers used immune stimulators to target cancerous tumors, and it worked surprisingly well. T cells that defend against cancer often end up overpowered by the disease, but scientists find they can be rejuvenated using CPG oligonucleotides and anti-OX40 antibodies. When a microgram of the immune-stimulating agents were injected directly into mouse tumors, the growths disappeared in about 10 days. CPG activates dendritic cells that help against tumor counterattacks, while anti-OX40 antibodies stimulate T cells into attacking the cancer. Once a tumor is destroyed, the cells move through the body to find and eliminate other similar growths. The experiment eradicated lymphoma in 87 out of 90 mice and also worked on breast, colon, and melanoma cancers. The team is looking to start clinical trials to see if the treatment will be as successful in humans. The fight against cancer continues. Metastatic cancer could be stopped. A research team led by the Georgia Institute of Technology has developed a new treatment that can potentially stop cancer cells from migrating inside the human body. Cells contain cytoskeletons to give them their shape and to carry out functions such as division and movement. In order to move, the cytoskeletons produce protrusions called phyllopodia, which extends from fibers inside the cell known as lamellopodia. The protrusions help cells to shift locations. Lamellopodia and phyllopodia are overproduced in malignant cancer cells, enabling them to spread around the body at faster speeds. Cancer kills patients often through the spread of malignant cells, which is known as the metastasis process. By attaching nanorods comprised of a small collection of gold atoms to the integrin of the cells, the cytoskeleton can be stopped from overproducing lamellopodia and phyllopodia, which slows down the migration of malignant cells. A low-energy laser of near-infrared light is then used on the cells. The light is absorbed by the gold nanorods, which then partially melts cancer cells and damages lamellopodia and phyllopodia. This can bring the migration of the cancer cells to a stop. If desired, the laser light can also be adjusted to kill the cancer cells. The experimental treatment shows no observable damage to healthy cells, which is an advantage over commonly used chemotherapy. In the experiments, scientists also did not see the treated cancer recur. New Hope for Cancer Patients A panel of experts advising the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has unanimously recommended the approval of a new cancer drug from pharmaceutical giant Novartis. The drug would be used to treat people suffering from leukemia. Tisagen like Lusol is a gene therapy drug used to treat a blood cancer known as B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia in patients aged 3 to 25. The drug uses chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy, which reprograms immune cells to defeat cancer. The treatment first extracts a patient's own T-cells, then genetically modifies them using tisagen like Lusol to grow new receptors. These receptors target CD19, a protein expressed by malignant B-cells. Copies of the new cells are grown in the lab by the millions and injected back into the patient where they then attack the cancer cells. In one test, the treatment led to complete remission in 83% of 52 patients. But it has potentially deadly short-term side effects, such as high fevers, low blood pressure, and lung problems. It's unclear what the long-term side effects are, if any. Therefore, patients who receive treatment are recommended to be monitored for 15 years. The FDA will likely decide whether or not to approve the Novartis drug in the next few months. If they do, it will be the first gene therapy drug of its kind to hit the U.S. market. Another Cancer Research Breakthrough Scientists in Portugal have demonstrated that zebrafish larvae can be used as avatars for people in that they can predict the response of human cancer tumors to various drugs. This would enable researchers to choose the more efficient treatments for patients. Scientists implanted human cancer cells into zebrafish larvae and allowed them to grow. They then added different chemotherapy drugs to the fish's water tanks and discovered the fish had different physical responses to effective and ineffective drugs. This was consistent with the patient's responses to various treatments. Similar experiments have been done on mice, but tumors require at least two months to grow inside mice, whereas with zebrafish, growth can take place in about two weeks. 
The team plans to conduct the same experiments in hundreds of patients in order to confirm the accuracy of the fish's response, which would be completed within two years. Robot algae wipes out cancer cells. Scientists at the Chinese University of Hong Kong have taken an algae more commonly used as a diet supplement and turned it into a cancer assassin. Researchers coated spirulina microalgae in iron nanoparticles before inserting it inside a rat's stomach. The iron coating combined with spirulina's natural shape allowed scientists to control it with magnets. Researchers also put the microalgae inside a lab dish where it eliminated 90% of cancerous cells after two days. Spirulina is reported to be toxic only to cancer cells. The biodegradability of the robot depends on how thick the iron nanoparticle coating is. The thicker it is, the longer the robot can operate inside a subject. Lead researcher Dr. So Li Zhang told the publication Science it's not ready for doctors to use, but reckons it might be in about 10 years.